Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So at the end of The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 5, Negan had seemingly decided that he wanted to join the Whispers. He walks out and goes over to the Whispers camp and he meets some of the Whispers and he meets Beta. And that's the end of the episode. That's the cliffhanger. And we see from the previews of next episode that he is trying to join the Whispers. Or at least he's trying to convince them that he wants to join them. You know, he's, he's acting like he, he wants to become a Whisper. Like he really wants to be one of them. Because, I mean, you know, he's not welcomed back at Alexandria and Hilltop that much. He accidentally killed the woman that was hurting Lydia, beating up Lydia, trying to kill Lydia. And they actually weren't sure if they wanted to execute Negan for that. Even though it was an accident and he was protecting a young girl from a crazy person, they, they were still considering whether or not Negan should be killed. Aaron wanted Negan to, to die. He wanted him executed. And... Someone, we still don't know who, but someone got Negan out of his cell and unlocked the door. So, Negan might not have much of a reason to go back. Because, for all he knows, if he goes back, they'll kill him. Plus, the Brandon kid went out with Negan, and Negan killed him for good reasons. But once again, it's another person from Alexandria that that Negan killed. That's two people that Negan has killed. And they 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 don't know that Brandon was a psychopath that murdered a, a child and a mother. You know, they didn't see that with their own eyes, so Negan can't just go back and tell them the truth. They, they probably would actually have him executed for killing two people, even though they're both bad people. They might not believe him. So Negan really doesn't have much of a reason to go back to Alexandria. And, I mean, he does sort of have a reason to really just join the Whispers and, and accept that and, and live a Whisper life. But... I don't think that's what he's doing. I don't think that's what he's doing at all. I think he has a plan up his sleeve. He he is going to do something that will help the good guys. He wants to help the people at Alexandria and Hilltop and he wants to he wants to do something. I don't know what his exact plan is, but I do believe that Negan has a plan. He wants to do something good th that'll hurt the whispers, that'll help the good guys. And then I think Negan wants to go back to the good guys, and once he's done the the good things that he's done, sort of as an like a as, as an, an undercover agent, and you know being one of the whispers, he's doing these good things, and then he can go back to Alexandria, and maybe then they'll take him back. That's what I think Negan's plan is. Now again, I don't know exactly what Negan is going to do, but I do think that Negan has some sort of plan up his sleeve. He does not want to be, actually be a whisperer. If he, that's that's just not something that Negan would want. I don't think that fits his character, especially the growth that he's gone through in the past season. I think he really does want to prove himself and, and be a productive member of the Alexandria community and, and actually make a difference and and be the type of person that Carl and Rick would want him to be and stuff like that. I think that's what Negan wants. So no, I don't think Negan wants to be a whisperer at all. I think he does have some sort of plan. He has some sort of trick up his sleeve. For those of you that have read the comics, you know what that plan might be. You know what he might end up doing if they adapt it straight from the comics. I won't spoil it in this video for those of you that haven't read the comics and don't want to know what's about to happen or what might be about to happen because some things they adapt from the comics, some things they don't, some things they remix and change up. But there is a big thing that Negan does in the comics and they may or may not do it. So, you know, there, there's that. <laughs> but, yeah, Negan is not going to want to be a whisperer. I think he has a plan. He still wants to be a part of Alexandria. He still wants to be a good guy. But he's already killed two people from that community, even though they're both for good reasons. He, he, I think he, he has to do something that'll kind of make up for it and, and will allow him to be accepted back into the community. So I think that's what Negan is up to right now. He doesn't actually want to be a whisperer. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now I am at 637 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 700 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 700.
And the channel's been doing really, really well lately. Like the past couple of weeks, I've gotten a, a decent amount of videos that have gotten 400 to 700 views, which I haven't had videos like that in a while. Usually I just get like the occasional one, maybe once a month that gets up to 300 views but in the past couple of weeks I've gotten like seven eight videos that have hundreds of views so that's really good and we've gotten like 20 subscribers in the past couple of weeks so we're doing really well thank you to all of you that have been supporting this channel it really means a lot to me and we are just 63 more subscribers 63 more people and we will be at that 700 subscriber milestone that's a huge one we're getting there we're, we're really really progressing to 700 super super excited for that but yeah with all that said i am spencer rhodes and i will see you guys later bye